So now we're going to tell the story of antibacterial resistance. Um, and this is the story of one such bacteria that developed resistance and as a result came to run riot in loads of hospitals across the UK um, and caused loads of illness. So this is the story of MRSA. So once upon a time there was a bacteria called Staphylococcus aureus. So we'll just call it um, Staph for short. Um, and Staph found its way into hospitals across the UK. And as a result, it made loads of people ill. Doctors gave the people loads of drugs that would normally work, but none of them did. And staff carried on making loads of people ill. So what the doctors said is that we were going to give the patients a stronger drug that normally worked to kill the really, really stubborn bacteria and this was a drug called methicillin. But what happened was even when the bacteria that was in the hospitals had been given this really pow powerful drug, methicillin, it still stayed in the hospitals. Nothing could kill it. So because it was methicillin resistant, it got called methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. So methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus is MRSA and resistant means it can't be killed. So that's the story of MRSA and what doctors found out was that antibacterial, uh, sorry, bacterial resistance comes about like this. You have a group of bacteria that are all the same but then one develops a variation in its genetic code. So the DNA that make up that bacteria and give it all its characteristics, something in there becomes changed or mutated to give it a variation. And that gives it an advantage over the rest. And that bacteria there becomes a superbug. So it's developed a variation which means that it can survive all sorts of normal drugs and this really powerful drug, methicillin. All because from the group that were the same, the bacterial group that were the same, one has become a little bit different and it survives. So all these ones would get killed. In this group of four, loads would get killed if you just gave them normal drugs and methicillin. But this one would stay and multiply and go mad. So this is a superbug. And that's how MRSA came about. One developed to change. It only takes one. That one makes clones of itself and runs riot in hospitals. Ends up making loads of people unwell. Causes um, the hospitals to spend tons of money developing new drugs to try and kill it. Because now you've got to find a different drug apart from this that will act on uh, MRSA otherwise that happens so in an exam that's the full thing they might ask you to apply this knowledge to talk about how resistance comes about so from this story here you should be able to do that now